primary care physicians all across America are seeing patients with prediabetes. This is you, where I tell you you have prediabetes. If you don't do anything, two years from now, less than five years, you're going to develop diabetes. 14% of their adult population has type 2 diabetes. And five years from now, they can expect the number of patients that they care for with type 2 diabetes to increase by probably at least 50%. Type 2 diabetes places a heavy toll on patients and families, and it costs our nation more than $300 billion a year. Bending the diabetes curve requires successfully targeting those with prediabetes. Prediabetes is an actionable step. The most important thing that a physician can do is refer their patients to the National Diabetes Prevention Program. The National Diabetes Prevention Program, or NDPP, is an evidence-based lifestyle change program. We took a look at all of the possible prevention options out there and very quickly realized that the National Diabetes Prevention Program offers uh, the best intervention. When reaching 100 high-risk adults, the NDPP prevents 15 new cases of type 2 diabetes, 162 missed workdays. $91,000 in other health care costs, and it adds an equivalent of 20 perfect years of health. Clearly the issue of how do you manage uh, chronic illness and even better how to prevent it is something I've always tried to address but it's hard to do in, in the time frame and frankly I'm not always the most culturally appropriate person to really talk to people about what they do. Well, the peers in the class, they were very welcoming and everybody gave their opinion and then we learned from each other. We try to help the community, mm -hmm. our community, because sometimes doctors are really speedy and they just say, well, you take this and you take that. Okay, Miss Palmer, this is for the pressure, this is for the sugar, and that is for that, and that, that, for that, but I get uh, um, experience here. That we take time to teach them something they don't have time to teach them. They feel more comfortable mm -hmm. to come here and talk with us. I lost a lot of weight. My goal weight was 10 pounds, and I lost more, 15. That's one pant size. And when you hear the participants say, oh my God, I didn't know this. They be fabulous. They're like, oh my God, I didn't know. So them knowing this, they feel good about themselves. It was just so breathtaking just to go do something like that. It's worth it. And when people get to talk with others who they feel more comfortable with, they talk a lot more and a lot more can be accomplished. You're not throwing your patient away to someone else or losing contact, but rather increasing contact with other aspects of their lives. The provider needs to be engaged. If you cannot leave it alone to, the, to others, for me it's, uh, it's a no-brainer. We find time for the things that are important. What's more important than your health? At the end of the day, our health is the only thing that we really have. Adding a community group that can teach my patients how to either prevent diabetes or to manage their diabetes has been a spectacular assist to me in my practice. It just makes my life easier and makes my practice better. Treat them with love and at the same time with knowledge and they enjoy so much they are willing to come back. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for the class. Look, it was good for me. Let's start the class again. I'm sure I will be here. Please visit the following links for more information on NDPP and what it means for your patients, what physicians are doing to prevent diabetes, and diabetes prevention in New York State. For more information about QTAC New York, please visit qtacny.org.